the permanent mandibular premolars are four in number the first premolar and the second premolar on the right and the left side in this video we will be dealing in detail about the dental anatomy of permanent mandibular first premolar specifically from the buccal and the lingual aspect watch the video till the end to understand it well <music> Hi, we at Dentorize welcome you all to a platform where we help you to conceptualize, visualize and memorize dentistry. The permanent mandibular first premolars are fourth tooth from the median line. According to the FDI tooth notation system, the right permanent mandibular first premolar is numbered as 4-4 and the left permanent mandibular first premolar is numbered as 3-4. The entire dental anatomy of permanent mandibular first premolar can be dealt in five aspects. The buccal aspect, the lingual aspect, the mesial aspect, the distal aspect and the occlusal aspect. In this video, we will be dealing with the buccal and the lingual aspect. Starting with the buccal aspect, the first heading would be the dimensions. The cervical occlusal length of the crown as measured from the tip of the cusp till the lowest point on the cervical line is 8.5 mm. The root length as measured from the lowest point on the cervical line till the tip of the root is 14 mm. The mesodistal dimension as measured from the contact areas is 7 mm and the mesodistal dimension at the cervix is 5 mm. If you notice the difference between these two dimensions then the difference comes out to be 2 mm. This means that the cervix of mandibular first premolar crown is narrow mesodistally when compared with the crown width at the contact areas. Please observe the figure very carefully. If we talk about the symmetry of the crown from the buccal aspect, we would observe that the crown is nearly symmetrical bilaterally. Please observe the figure very carefully. Now let's talk about the next heading that is the shape of the crown from the buccal aspect. If you observe closely, then the shape of the crown is roughly trapezoidal. The shortest side of the trapezium lies at the cervical line. Now, after the dimensions, symmetry and shape of the crown from the buccal aspect, let's talk about the surface of the crown from the buccal aspect. So, if we take an extracted tooth in our hand and move our explorer over the buccal surface from mesial side to the distal side, then we would observe that the crown surface is convex. If we compare this convexity with the convexity of the buccal surface of maxillary premolars, then we would observe that the convexity of mandibular premolar is more as compared to that of the maxillary premolars and that too specifically at the cervical and the middle thirds. Also, while moving the explorer on the buccal surface, we would observe a ridge. This ridge starts from the tip of the cusp and continues down till the cervical line. It is called as the buccal ridge. Otherwise, the enamel of the buccal surface of the crown is smooth and shows no developmental grooves and very few developmental lines. If we talk about the cusp that is seen from the buccal aspect, then this cusp is called as the buccal cusp. This is formed because the middle buccal lobe of mandibular first premolar gets very well developed which results in a large buccal cusp. The tip of this cusp is pointed. If you talk about the location of this tip of the cusp, then this tip is located a little mesial to the center of the crown. Please observe the figure very carefully. If you talk about the slopes that arise from this cusp, then there are two slopes the mesial slope and the distal slope. If we talk about the dimensions of the mesial slope and the distal slope, we observe that the mesial slope is shorter as compared to the distal slope. Till now we have discussed about the dimensions, the shape of the crown, symmetry of the crown and the buccal cusp. Let's move a little downward cervically and deal with the contact areas. From the buccal aspect, the contact areas of permanent mandibular first premolars are broad. The location of the contact areas is basically a little more than half the distance from the cervical line till the tip of the cusp. The mesial and the distal contact areas are present almost at the same level. Please observe the figure very carefully. 
if you observe the mesial outline of the crown from the buccal aspect starting from the tip of the cusp and moving down cervically the mesial slope of the buccal cusp is slightly concave as marked in the figure in blue moving down cervically we have the contact area this contact area is broad and is located little occlusal to the center of the crown if we measure it from the tip of the cusp till the cervical line moving down little more cervically the mesial outline of the crown is straight or slightly concave above the cervical line likewise if you observe the distal outline of the crown starting from the tip of the cusp and then moving down cervically the distal slope of the buccal cusp also shows some concavity marked in the figure in blue the distal contact area is broad but is broader than that of the mesial contact area then moving down more cervically the distal outline of the crown is slightly concave above the cervical line very similar to that of the mesial outline after the crown if we focus on the cervical line then the cervical line of permanent mandibular first premolars show a little curvature with the crest of curvature approaching the center of the root buccally please observe the figure very carefully now let's talk about the root the root of permanent mandibular first premolar is very similar to that of the root of permanent mandibular canine except for the dimension the root is little shorter than that of the mandibular canine you can appreciate the difference between the two in the figure very nicely so this was all about the buccal aspect the buccal aspect can be summarized under the following headings the dimensions the symmetry of the crown the shape of the crown surface of the crown the buccal cusp the slopes of the cusp the mesial outline distal outline the cervical line and then the root now let's discuss about the lingual aspect of permanent mandibular first premolar if we rotate the tooth from the buccal aspect towards the lingual aspect we would observe that the crown and the root of permanent mandibular first premolars taper markedly towards the lingual side this way we are able to observe the mesial and the distal surfaces of this tooth from lingual aspect itself this implies that the lingual measurement mesiodistally is less than that present buccally if we notice the cusp present on the lingual surface then we have the lingual cusp present the length of the lingual cusp is very short as compared to that of the buccal cusp also the occlusal surface of this tooth tapers towards the lingual side this makes the occlusal surface very well visible from the lingual aspect itself please observe the figure very carefully therefore if you observe the crown from the lingual aspect then the major portion of the crown is made up of the middle buccal lobe the lingual cusp is very small this makes the lingual aspect of permanent mandibular first premolar very similar to the lingual aspect of permanent mandibular canine please observe the figure very carefully if we concentrate particularly on the middle buccal lobe present on the lingual aspect of this tooth on moving the explorer over the surface we would observe an elevation or a ridge this ridge is called as the buccal triangular ridge mesial and distal to this buccal triangular ridge are present two fossas namely the mesial occlusal fossa and the distal occlusal fossa this will be dealt in detail when the occlusal aspect of this tooth will be discussed after the middle buccal lobe let's concentrate on the lingual cusp as evident in the figure the lingual cusp is shorter in length as compared to that of the buccal cusp sometimes it is so short that it looks like a strongly developed cingulum very similar to that of a permanent mandibular canine if we talk about the tip of the cusp then the lingual cusp tip is pointed and is in alignment with the buccal triangular ridge as marked in the figure if you observe the entire lingual surface of the crown then the contact areas as marked in blue the marginal ridges as marked in black are pronounced and extend out above the narrow cervical portion of the crown concavities are evident between the cervical line and the contact areas on the lingual portion of the mesial and the distal surface marked in the figure with yellow the cervical portion of the crown marked in the figure in red lingually is narrow and convex please observe the figure very carefully 
Apart from all the general features, there is one characteristic feature that is present only on the lingual surface of permanent mandibular first premolars that is the presence of mesiolingual developmental groove. This groove acts as a line of demarcation between the mesiobuccal lobe and the lingual lobe and extends into the mesial fossa of the occlusal surface. Please observe the figure very carefully. It is present on the lingual surface and then runs mesially. That is why it is called as the mesiolingual developmental groove. After the crown, if you observe the root, the root of this tooth is much narrower on the lingual side because of which the mesial and the distal surfaces of the root can also be appreciated from the lingual aspect. Because of this taperness or the narrowness, a narrow ridge, very smooth and convex can be observed on the surface of the root along its full length. Often, developmental depressions are present in the root along with developmental grooves present mesially. The root of this tooth tapers evenly from the cervix and then ends in a pointed apex. So, this was the detailed dental anatomy of permanent mandibular first premolar from the buccal and the lingual aspect. The remaining aspects will be covered in our subsequent videos. If you like our content, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever we upload a new video. Suggestions are always welcome from your side. Stay tuned, stay safe. Thank you for watching.